Hello nieces and nephews, this is your Uncle Bill. Today we are doing chicken and french fries. Yum! Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make them. Not only that, we're going to do it in my air fryer. Uncle Bill's starving, so let's get to it. It's going to be fun. All right, so today uh, the fries will take 30 minutes at 380 and that thigh should take 25 minutes at 380. So what we're going to do is put the fries in first and after that, the chicken. Makes sense. That's how we do it in other ovens. So why not in the air fry? We'll do it that way. Here's the chicken thigh. I've seasoned it with Montreal steak seasoning. It's one of my favorites. I get that over at Costco. We have it up on a grill rack so that we can have the fries down below it. As you can see, it's been warming up and drizzling. Now it's time to peel the potatoes, then make french fries with a french fry cutter. If you have potatoes that have a thin, clean skin, you could wash it or organic potatoes. These are not organic. Therefore, I am just peeling them and then I'm going to make french fries. The other thing is because these aren't high quality potatoes, I can look for blemishes and clean up from there. If you have grade A potatoes, it's a little different. This one looks like a little nicer potato. You never know with potatoes. That's why a lot of times it's just safer to peel them than to wash them and cook. At least with russets, that's true. Okay, let's put these over to the side and then we'll make french fries. Now this guy doesn't stand up straight. This one's fairly straight, but not quite straight enough. Let's give it a try with my new invention here. bad, huh? That's Uncle Bill's invention. I could make a fortune with this. It's like a Vegematic. Except this thing's been around. This is probably older than I am. There we, whoops, there it is. And there's our french fries all ready for cooking almost. Now it's time to add the oil. First we take the fries, put them into a plastic bag. It's the easiest way to do it. Either that or if you want you can put it into a, a bowl. I add between one and two tablespoons of oil. I'm using one today. I've tried it all different ways with the air fryer. I love the air fryer because I love experimenting. Trap a little bit of air so that you have, and then just shake it. Mush around the fries. Make sure you don't pop the plastic bag, obviously. Otherwise, you'll have fries all over the place. Another thing about cutting and doing French fries, which I found out the hard way, for some reason, French fries will keep cooked in your refrigerator. But if you cook, if you cut raw potatoes and put them in the refrigerator, they will turn the ugliest color gray overnight. You just don't want to do it. So if, as soon as you cut them, cook them. Now we're all set and we're just going to go preheat. Now we go and we preheat five minutes to hit start, to have it start. All right, our preheater's done. Now what we do is we pull it out, out of the thing. We add our fries in. We make sure that they all have an air gap as best as possible. Uh, you can see the fries, you can hear them sizzling. It's important to get it back in there as fast as you can. Temperature is 380. And we start. Five minutes in, we're gonna pull it out and put this yummy chicken in there. Yum! Shake it up a little bit halfway through to get the fries better cooked. 30 minutes for the fries, 25 minutes. 
it's not so much that the air fryer is a quicker way of cooking, it's just an easier way of cooking. Okay, now we're at 25 minutes. It's time to put the chicken in. Shake up the fries a little bit. Try not to get burned. I position that in. Take that, whoa. Don't, don't run it in. Just go nice and easy in. And it starts back up automatically. 25 minutes from now, we should have lunch. 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes to go. I'm so hungry. <laughs> One thing that you have to remember also is don't open this thing up. Because every time you open it up, you're going to lose temperature. So it's just crazy. It's lots of fun. I can't wait to... Uh, smelling that good chicken and the french fries. So hungry. Hey, hungry. Can you tell me what movie that comes from? Hungry, feed me. <laughs> All right, we're down to our last minute. All right, here it is. Let me take it out. Whoa, doesn't that look delicious? Put it over here. Time for fries. These look delicious. These guys were underneath the chicken, some of them. Don't those look delicious? Now, I haven't put any salt on these because I'm looking to reduce the number or the amount of salt that I have in my diet. And that's two potatoes right there. Might as well put them all on there because I'm looking to have a yummy dinner here. Lunch. Nice crispy fries. Can't wait. I'm going to grab one of these guys. Let's see that one. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, I don't know if you can see steam coming off of it, but it's nice and tasty. A little bit of ketchup on that, and it's going to be delicious. You can also make potato chips in an air fryer, which is a nice thing to do. And that's that. Now, with this, you, you let it cool all the way before cleaning it and the best way to let it cool is just right inside one of the most important things is unplug your air fryer a little bit of ketchup fries and chicken i give this meal a thumbs up it was real fun Every day this side of the dirt is a great day, so go out there and have some fun and stay COVID safe. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Here's some more videos to watch.